Good evening, welcome to the two new view where tonight we are two handed, just myself and Stato here uh, to bring you the show tonight. It's quite an important day in, in, in the Premier League uh, systems today with votes going on left, right, and centre. Uh, before you do, kind of, we get into this crux of all the matter of what's going on today, uh, please hit that thumbs up button. It's really important to us to get us up the search engine on YouTube uh, for like minded football fans to see what we're doing here. Uh, you can also subscribe for free and you can also become a member by jo hitting the join button. That's like a paid membership uh, entitled you to kind of draw and things like that. And super chats are also available by hitting the dollar sign below the chat there. Uh, how are you, Stato? Hello, Stato. <laughs> Turn your mic off. Still mute, double muted. Yeah, I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. I'm trying to catch up on everything. Obviously, there's tons and tons of stuff. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting it to pass, if I'm completely honest, or to, to fail, should I say. Um, mm. So I wasn't super prepped for the fun shows we can do. Now we can technically loan from Saudi. Yeah. Um, I don't think the intention was to necessarily. I think it was an option. I think it was exacerbated by by the media. Uh, they've basically whipped up their own their own frenzy of their own nonsense. Um, although a little bit of Dan Ashworth sort of, um, you know, red herring was, was sprinkled out there with his interview. Mm, but yeah, I'm just trying to catch up on everything. So that, that's what we're doing tonight. Let's talk about it. Yeah, potentially though the first, the first and possibly more important vote was the one about the sponsorships between related companies to, to, to certain owners. That opens up an awful lot of potential FFP ceiling height, doesn't it? That's the big one. Nobody's That's talking about one. it. Miguel That's Delaney and the like are crying and crying and crying over Ruben Neves. Oh no, they might. They can technically. They're allowed to go and loan Ruben Neves now. That's not the kicker. That doesn't bother anybody. No. It's the fact that we can now have sponsorships that we deserve. Um, we can have lots of them. Yes, we can have everything sponsored. Sock sponsors, um, jockstrap sponsors, training brand sponsors, everything. Which absolutely will everything. Push the ceiling up and up and up and up and up. And mm. then we can start signing these players. Never mind loans. Mm. And I, th I think not. Not just that. I don't. I don't think uh, people really understood the nature of just of the modern game. There's a lot of networking between clubs. There's a lot of of, of sort of dual ownership, um, <laughs> and there's a lot of clubs benefiting from that at the moment. And it's not necessarily a negative thing. Um, it means. You know, a lot of clubs in France and the Netherlands and, and Belgium and stuff stay alive for these sorts of deals, as do Portugal, although there's not really too much in terms of ownership that's that's doubled up. Um, but it, it's important for these clubs to, to develop players, have these links, to have have the finances for it and the big purchases. I, I don't see that, that much of a problem. You know, Liverpool do it. Um, Brighton do it with... Uh, who did Brighton do it with? With um, oh, God, It's some kind of airline, isn't it? No, no, no. I mean, I mean, loan from uh, another club, which is part owned by their owner. Uh, Forest with Olympiacos with their owner yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. There's a lot of clubs that benefit from this. It's not Bournemouth, you know, Bournemouth as well. It's not. It, it's it's really been they've used us as a scapegoat, really, and it's nonsense because there's so many clubs that benefit from it. And I, I'm I'm actually surprised. I'm surprised it was so close. I thought I, I, I was hoping we might get a shock and it'd be sort of ten ten, and it wasn't. It was it was only one away, but. Mm. It's a strange one. Yeah, let's do some comments. Let's see what the, what the chat is saying about it all. Bristolian Magpies says, I know I'm early, but at least we can loan from the Saudi clubs. We can. We're entitled to... With one in, we can get another six in, can't we? So, uh, but only one from the Premier League, another Premier League club. The Cron lads already foreseen the future chance in the, in the Gallagate and the Leeds end. We've got Nevers in the middle. He knows exactly what we need. Laporte at the back. Benzema in the attack. Newcastle's going to win the Premier League. <laughs> well thought out, that one. Uh, Jan says, PIF owned uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, Roberto Firmino, Mane, Mares, Neves, go for the lots. Well, Is we will be talking feasible? about... Uh, well, I don't think we'll be we'll, going we'll that many. <laughs> we will. Uh, Sean Lewis said that vote failed nicely. Who do you think the seven were that voted with well, the six alongside us? Who do you think they were? Well, I'm going to say Man City, Man United, probably for two. Bournemouth, Forest. I honestly, I honestly don't know. So yeah, so Man City, Man United, because uh, of Man City, they've got all the all the funny groups. Man United with Nice because of Jim Radcliffe. That and then us. There's three. Bournemouth potentially, uh, Forest potentially, Brighton potentially. That's six. Um, and we're looking for one more. Palace. Chelsea. We don't know who owns them, do we? 
Well, Palace is, is one that's been shouted as well. I mean, that takes it up to eight if we include Chelsea and Palace. So, oh yeah, Brighton is USG. Yeah, there we go. That's that's who they are. Um, so yeah, I, I'm. All things considered, I think people were fortunate it was only seven. It could have it could have been eight because I, I, I'm counting eight there. Unless I'm, I'm going crazy. I'm not sure, would Chelsea be in that? I'm not sure Chelsea would. Maybe not. Well, maybe it's seven then. Maybe that makes sense. So, I mean, this is what we talked about in, in a recent show, that there's a lot of clubs that do kind of depend on this, especially with clubs like Bournemouth, Brighton, and Forest. They they need that. They need the sort of the churn. They, they, they need the players. Um, hmm. Yeah, Palace, Leon as well. Yeah. I'm surprised it's not more than seven. I really am. Mm. I think the big cheerleaders in the vote actually taking place, certainly Liverpool, Spurs, Arsenal, they're the three, aren't they? I would, I would think that would, would 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 gain most from this vote not going through or going through, mm. I should say. Uh, Taz Music 101, 1101 says, uh, evening all, Prem vote went our way. Bring Maxi back on loan. Mm. Wow. Mm. I mean... And also, another story that's breaking today, Tom's alluding to here, Spurs could be in the shot now as it happens. Daniel Levy has used the legal agents. Indeed, the Jermaine Defoe deal, Portsmouth and Tottenham, Harry Redknapp involved, you know, a bit of financial irregularities around Harry Redknapp in the past. Um, let's see how that one transpires. Imagine them losing a few points. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Where is Benzema? I don't know. He's in Saudi somewhere. Hmm. I'm just Apparently, we've been loaded to four players from Saudi League, according to Tim Gamer. Even to you, you know, hope you're well. Carl, even to you. Julie Jagan, even to you. Uh, James Pope. Who else we've got? Loads of Andrew DB, even to you. David Noble. And he says this. He says, it would be nice to know what 13 clubs voted for the ban. Sucks to be them. <laughs> is it Ali Tiad, is it? Could be. Yeah, <laughs> Judge says Liverpool and Spurs are two of them. I would say that's virtual certainty. Uh, even to Maccas. Uh, the handmade angler DJ float mm -hmm. says, Just see about Spurs, so Everton, Chelsea, Spurs, Man City are all pretty much in the shit. Yet, all of these clubs had the nerve to try and stop our takeover. Karma is the right bitch. Man City didn't try and stop stop it. Uh, DJL floats, uh, Chelsea certainly did, Spurs definitely did. <laughs> they co they courted, you know, Masters and, and who was the pill up next to him? One from Coventry, Hoffman. Um, they were sitting next to him and grounds and all sorts, weren't they? L Livy was, so there we go. Yeah, David Noble says 100% Liverpool and Spurs. Evening to, to uh, Mohsen. Uh, who voted against? We don't know as yet. Maybe the, maybe we will know in the future. I'm not sure. Might have been a closed ballot. Uh, Toon Gamer says we're looking at Neves, Viega and the ex-Celtic forward Jota. Oh, I don't think we'll be looking mm. at Celtic forward, to be honest. Oh, he's not bad, to be fair. No, he's not <clears> bad, <throat> but I mean, I mean, the ceiling's a bit higher than him, surely. Mm, uh, you're better than that, Billy. Well, Van Dyke and some of the players that have come from oh, Celtic in recent years. This is, this is true, but yeah. I mean, if, if Jota was Gen one of those Van Dyke types, he'd be in the yeah, Premier League. Yeah, generally, no. Of course, you're right, but you know, there's always it's always worth having a look at a two or three prospects. You know, in these leagues, you know, I understand that it is it is the, the Scottish league, but even so, there's there's good talents can come out of any. There is definitely. But I just think when you're looking at the other talents that are in Saudi, what would you go for Jota? Well, we shall have a look. Maybe we'll do a show on him. Uh, Tom Lynch says, then, Fairest Man City, I don't think they destroyed that exactly what I just said. Yeah. There's lots of the hashtag for bring Maxi home. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, but you never know. The clone lad thinks we can sign a million players from the Saudi League. Well, I think four. <laughs> and Maxi's in the chat. He says, I'm coming home, Newcastle. That's a good old song to sing. <laughs> well, James. I mean, all of our wingers will be fit by... January, so that's will, not yeah. necessarily the position we would need. We would need a, really a Tenali stand in for the rest of the season. You, any granny evening to you. Uh, James says, Do you still dance on the sidelines with the ball? And Max says, I never stop dancing. Uh, David Noble says, After all this, we go for Jordan Henderson on loan. I don't think so. Absolutely not. I'd I think rather he might get be the last Hans Chowdhury back in. Not a chance. <laughs> Uh, Van Omega says, even all today, we wouldn't let them babies cry. Absolutely. So, what we've got on, on this, and this is a, a short list that Stato's prepared. Yes, um, I've just very quickly hashed a quick Google Doc together of some of the interesting names we could get. Um, so, Al Hilal, of course, have got Ruben Neves, 
who has been the main, he's been the catalyst of, I, I would say he's been the catalyst of the vote. Yeah, I think I they've agree. thrown their toys out of the pram and specifically us wanting Ruben Nevers, us wanting an ex-Wolves player has prompted this vote, which is madness and it is rather unfair because um, there's a lot of clubs do this and it's it's just, oh, well, Newcastle are doing it and they've got lots of money, so we need to vote on it. it it's ridiculous just because they know we're, we're going to be Man City levels and they, they're just trying to throw everything they can to stop it and slow it down, which I get. But um, yeah, so Al Hilal, anyway, Ruben Neves. We've also got Mitrovic there, if you want a, a cheeky, um, you know, striker option. Uh, Milinkovic Savic, of course, um, who was at Lazio. I think he was the Lazio captain, wasn't he? He was absolutely incredible for a very, very long time. Um, and then Khalidou Koulibaly, of course, struggled. He was incredible at Napoli and then yeah. really did struggle at Chelsea in the Premier League. He did. Um, <clears throat> so we've got more clubs as well. Al Nasir. So this is an interesting one. I've seen a lot of comments in the chat about this. I think it's it's, it's prudent that we do a show. Um, although I smell lots of other YouTubers that are going to try and dart in, in ahead of us. But so we're definitely going to have to have a look at a, a, a funny little Saudi transfer show for loan specifically. Laporte seems like an interesting option. Um, I mean, centre halves. Lascelles deserves a lot of credit for how well he stepped up. Um, however, some extra depth wouldn't go amiss. It really wouldn't. Um, you got Tellers, Brozovic. We've been linked with prior, as uh, sort mm -hmm. of when we were floating around looking for midfield reinforcements, maybe CDMs. Brozovic has been touted. He was even a free up, free um, free option. Uh, what 12, 18 months ago, but then he resigned and he's since gone. Uh, Ronaldo and Mane, of course, probably knows. Uh, Al Ali is, is a very, very interesting shout, this next club, um, because of these two midfielders here. Gabriel yeah. Vega, of course, was somebody who we we were linked with previously, and we've done him on two transfer shows. He's a young Spanish combative midfielder mm -hmm. who had the world at his feet. Everybody's very confused why he went to Saudi. Uh, well, I mean, we, we kind of know the answer to that. But uh, And then Franck Kessier, of course, um, ex-AC Milan. We were linked with him when he was at Milan. He went to Barca. Mm. has since gone to Saudi, but again, competent, strong, combative midfielder. Mares, I still feel like, is plenty good enough and young enough to be really good for us in the league. Firmino is is ageing. Um, and Maxi, I, I would probably... I'm just going to say uh, just a flat-out no, just because he was ours. We've The fact that we've walked away once means we've walked away. Let, let's not... Let's not do that, I don't think. I think with Mitrovic, it's different because we sold him when he was a lot younger and it's been many years and he's progressed and he's kind of in that peak area right now. Mm. Um, a bit different with him. And then Al Itiad, we've got Fabinho, Kante, Benzema and, of course, Jota from, from Celtic. So mm. any of those as, as cover, I mean, and then Benzema coming in for experience as well would just be outrageous. Um, <clears throat> so this is, this is the main shortlist I put together from the from the bigger clubs within the Saudi league. I do apologize. Other, other clubs are available and other players. Uh, we, we're not looking at Steven Gerrard's team because I'm, I'm not, I know Van Alden plays for Al Aliti Fak as does Jordan Henderson, but I, I don't, I don't want to look at Steven Gerrard's team. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, ping, ping some comments about what you think about these players in the chat. Cause this is, you know, if there's anything to come of this, and let's not forget, it's not just going to be loans to our club. It means anybody in the league can get loans from Saudi. So who's to say some somebody from this list won't go to another club or a, or a rival? It's possible. But they could have done that in the first place, couldn't they, without this vote going through anyway? So, you know, this this vote entitles us to go for these players if we so wish. Um, well, the other clubs, of course, were already kind of unable to do that, weren't they? Because they weren't affiliated to the owners. So we've got we a five-pound super torn. chat. Sorry, Sorry, five pounds super chat. Me and Fleming. He says, as a Celtic fan, guys, I wouldn't mind Jota at the tune. He can play anywhere across the front three and scores a few goals. He's a good player, but I'm just thinking, who would you rather have, Jota or I'm going to throw it out there, um, Mane, or you know what I mean? Yeah, but Mane's past it. Jota would be a project. Loan to six buy. Yeah, for loan to buy, yeah, maybe, maybe. I just think maybe in the summer we'll be looking at with these sponsorship things coming through. We'll be looking at. Well, uh, there's no more. reason why oh, we couldn't have uh, a zero zero percent wage. There's no reason why we couldn't loan them in and we pay zero. Yeah, this is true. This is true because that that is a legitimate thing that happens all the time. And yes, it definitely. Is. To play to another club, 
but the, the 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 loanee club doesn't have to pay any of the wages. It, it's a thing. No reason why we couldn't technically do that because um, they don't have any FFP to adhere to, so it doesn't matter to them. If effectively, all the money's going in the same pot, so it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, it does um, open up a big kind of worms. So, I mean, potentially any of these four PIF owned clubs could bid for anybody in Europe and then loan them out to us. Yeah, yeah, but I think long term. Um, that there has been a lot of a lot of conversations. I, I, I don't know the official standpoint on the Saudi League and their representatives and what their overall goals are, but there's been a lot of talk about them wanting to join the European Champions League, um, not the Asian Champions League format because it's it's not well. I mean, I don't, I don't want to say it's not very good, um, <laughs> not as good as the European one. It's, I do apologise. Yeah, it, it is it's, very good. It's very it's exciting. A level, level below. Isn't it However, it is a level below in, in my opinion. Um, despite there being some good teams. And I feel like Saudi, judging by how their trajectory so far, they would want to join the European League. Um, and in doing so, there is, there is there are European financial rules. They would have to meet those. So hmm, they would have to get their house in order if their long-term goal is to join something like the Champions League or obviously the new format or whatever it evolves into. Yeah. Yeah. That might be their aim in the, in the long term, though. Uh, Jackie Nicholson is a Benzema fan. He'd look at him to the end of the season. Benzema or Mitrovic, out of the two, which one are you favouring, Stoke? I mean, we know Benzema in the past has been an absolute top level. And Mitrovic is... Eh. But I think Mitrovic would probably do more for us than Benzema at the precise moment in time. It's a strange one, isn't it? Well, no, you've just answered your own question, and I agree with you. Right, so, right... <sighs> Again, it's another one that half the people on the sofa are going to be screaming at me, going, oh my God, it's Benzema, Alex, it's Benzema, of course. Well, yeah, I, I'm aware of that. But we haven't got world-class creators all over the pitch yet. You know, Longstaff's not going to be creating as many chances as Florian Burtz and Julian Brandt and, and some of the Spanish players. Like, they just don't do that. Obviously, Trippier's chance creation is elite at the moment. We've got some very high-level players playing out of their skin. However, to f to feed um, to feed Benzema, like can we can we feed him enough to score? Um, because he's not going to give us a lot of off the ball work. So, whereas Mitrovic, I think is is literally peak age right now. He was absolutely banging him in for fun for Fulham until he what he lost his head last year and got sent off and got a big ban, which is what absolutely tanked his stats. But he's um, you know, he was putting up some great numbers. He's in his peak, his physical peak. I think he'd work a lot harder for our team. So I, I'd take I'd, I'd take Mitrovic. He knows the club. We need somebody who understands the vision, the club, the fans, the people that can step in and do Eddie Howe's thing like that. And I think Mitrovic could do that. He's got the passion. He'd, he'd love... Imagine Mitrovic winning the tackle and screaming to the Gallagher end. It's always about He'd love it. He would be perfect in this current setup, even if it was only on loan for six months. He would love it. I agree. I think it'd be a perfect six month six month loan deal. He's not going to be the first choice because Alexander Izak is, but as and when needed, Mitrovic can step in with goals, can't he? And I think European football might entice him too. Because I don't think he's played a lot an awful lot of that in, in recent recent years, has he? So you know, it might entice him. And he's a Newcastle fan, of course, so it's potentially viable. How many players are we getting now then? Well, we can get as much mm. as four, is it? I think so. I think it's two domestic and four foreign. Yeah. Uh, one vote short to pass it's a damn shame says St. Louis Geordie Louis do you Jordan's know how to do bit. polls Billy just out of curiosity not a clue mate oh. not a clue not a clue yeah Paul's fine he's just a little under the weather today having a day off um, he'll be back later in the week uh, who else we got here uh, Big Scots received his side Nick Pope picture thanks lads much appreciated that's uh, one of the draw winners well well done uh, well, £10 super chat from Stat uh, Chippers, he says in Stato's words, we could be filthy or disgusting with a few of them on loan and injuries back in the new year. Thanks, that Chippers. Really much appreciated, my friend. I mean, he's not wrong. If we if we had, I mean, what? Let's let's say you have like Mitrovic, Neves, Laporte. That's a spine for free that we're not paying anything for. Yeah, that's uh... ridiculous. So we could theoretically we could have Botman, Laporte. Um, Neves, 
Bruno, Joe Linton, and then uh, Mitrovic able to rotate in with the front three and whoever's injured and whoever needs to be rested, that that would be outrageous. Uh, evening to Alistair and the RVI. I hope you're feeling well, mate. Feeling better than you were. I hope everything goes well with what you're going through at this precise moment in time. Even to Mark down in Bournemouth. Hey, Gaddius has made it to a live. He's quite happy with that. And Mary says, uh, even to you, Mary, put your thumbs up for the channel. Can we get this up by the end of this show? I dare the chatters. Good grief. It's like a carry-on film in, 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 in the chat. Uh, Milinkovic Savage says, CT, Gabby Vega and Neves would do me. Would we need three midfielders? Surely there'd be one or two of those three, surely. I mean, they're all... I mean, Vega's the mo more creative of those three, but Milink and Milinkovic Savage is kind of in between, isn't he? Uh, Neves, they're, they're all great players. I'd take any one of them, but we wouldn't want all three, would we? Definitely not. But one of those three. I mean, so I'm, I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking Paul to do this poll if, if, if he can do it in the background potentially. But it's, um, I'm really torn. This is why I'm, I'm querying a, a, a poll, and I don't know if you guys. I mean, you guys in the chat, you can, you can obviously help me out here. Um, I'm torn between. Do we do we now just go and sign four on loan as if to say ha 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 you know you shouldn't have pushed us now we're going to rule the world or do we take the the high road and do we just loan no one from Saudi do we just go you know what we weren't going to do it anyway we're not going to loan a single player from Saudi this was our plan and we're going to stick to our plan and we're going to do it the right way by the rules um I'm torn between should we just go and get four on loan or should we get zero? I'm 50-50. I'm 50-50. Um, because if we go and do it without any Saudi loans and we and we keep progressing, they can't really... What are they going to say to us? Because they need something. You know, the media and a lot of fam, other fan bases need something to throw at us. And if we don't if we don't loan anyone in, they've got nothing to throw at us. They really haven't. So well, it's, they've still got um, that sponsorship thing, haven't they? They can, they can pile on us with. If if, yeah. if, if if needs be, but I mean that, that's the one I think we're going to take most advantage of. If I'm perfectly honest, this is all. Yeah, but they don't seem to care about me. that. They've no, they forgotten ain't. about it. They, they they've are, yeah. completely gone over their heads about. But the when fact. they see kind of a, a live golf sponsored bloody training ground and you know Saudi Airlines socks and short sponsors and you know they're still going to pick up on it. Darren Blimp says, evening guys, great news, we can loan players from Saudi clubs, Ronaldo, Ma Mane and Neves, anybody. I don't want Ronaldo, absolutely not. Oh, there you uh, go. Paul's put the poll up for us. Brilliant. So, so let us know what you think. What's the poll on? What's the poll saying? I've, I've not got YouTube on, but... I don't know the wording of it, I can't see it, but it, it's essentially, guys, do you want to take advantage of this new rule? So, well, this this the fact that this has been rejected... Shall we go and take the, the maximum amount of loans we can from Saudi and use it to our benefit? Or shall we just go, you know what? We potentially weren't going to do it anyway. We'll just stick to our scouting plan and we're going to go and recruit players for the future. But we're not going to take advantage of the loan system from Saudi. And it's, you know, one or the other. Although it would be a massive, you know, screw you to, to the world if we just don't take advantage of this. Mark's right here. Make sure to like Sky, he says, but he says he's not pleased about Sky Sports news singling Newcastle out, which they mm. did. Carve certainly was Carve, what's his face, put a load of players on. And, and but at the end, he did add a caveat to it saying it's not just Newcastle that affects, but um, yeah, they definitely singled Newcastle out. And apparently, according to Judy J, so the BBC and the Daily Mail. So I guess we're the biggest kind of. Benny factors from it, aren't we? Let's be honest. Mm, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I think the teams like... I, I disagree. I think teams like Bournemouth and, and you know, potentially teams like Brighton, even Forest, they're, they're able to, to get this, this revenue and this link to, to churn and to stay in the Premier League among all oh, the loops of money, which is massive for them. And then you've got Man United potentially with Nice. I mean... What have Nice got that we'd, we'd want now, apart from Todd Ebo? There's probably one or two others there, but... Oh, they've got a few, yeah. They're not doing bad. Um, Big Dan Ashford has played a match class as he Randy Granny, he certainly has. I mean, he, he's, he's started this vote by potentially not even pretending to want us to sign Neves. It's it, it could be the biggest red herring in, well, in football history, couldn't it? That is... I mean, this needs to be discussed, doesn't it? That is a big shout. It, red herring has got to be the title of a little mini book on this little saga. This this could be it could be enormous. It could be essentially he's he's two steps ahead of in, of everyone. You no, know, the media, other other football clubs, scouts, agents. 
this could have been all done in the background to to kind of set up that we're going to go in this direction, in this loan market, in this area of the world. But in actuality, we've got two or three permanent transfers ready to just go um, that we've been lining up that nobody knows about. Um, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. It's very possible because we've had things like this before, haven't we? So I agree. I think it's fantastic strategy, if you like, from the hierarchy at Newcastle United. Barry the Beast says we most likely won't even sign in run from Saudi, so not a big deal for us, I don't think. Potentially, you could be, you could be bang on. Uh, James asked if we could if Stato could loan one player from the Middle East we own, who would it be? And there you go, there's a question. Stato could loan one player in from the Middle East. <laughs> what do you mean we own? I mean, we don't own them, but I know what you mean. If we could loan one in. Um, from another PIF majority owned club. Hmm. Let's just put it that That is way. a good question. I would go with. Oh. Ooh, I mean, give me a minute. Let me think about that. That's a big question. I'll, I'll go for Gabby or Vega myself. Is, is this is this loan in? Okay. If it's just loan in, I would go for someone like... I would go for Neves, personally. Neves. He's yeah. probably the best option. If it's just a straight loan. Whereas if we start talking about flexibility, maybe loan with an option to buy... You've got to remember, players like Neves, well, he signed a two-year deal, didn't he? So in January, he'd only have 18 months left. So yeah. we signed him on an 18-month loan and just take him. Like, it's a thing. It depends on the contract lengths of these players. Um, but yeah, if, if it's longevity, if it's a loan with an option further on, Gabri Vega, 100%, I agree, because of the potential and the age and, and just the ceiling is so much higher. Oh, that's my fault. I was, oh, <laughs> the chat on about Jockstrap sponsors, that was me. I started that. Sorry. I was, I was, about, to have a, I was about to have a go. It was my fault. <laughs> uh, Elliot Park says, hi, gang. Glad to catch a live. Gets difficult being in Australia. Yeah, time difference. Um, horrific. How does the vote affect sponsorship deals? There's two, there were two different votes in Northumberland Rock Hopper. There was one for this loan thing, and the other one was about getting sponsorship deals from affiliated companies, uh, partners, I should say, um, which really opened the door to massive kind of incoming sponsorships for us because that got voted down too. So, you know, it's a... Uh, that's is potentially the what well, it is. It's the biggest deal out of the two for me by a country mile because we can now improve our FFP seeding significantly. And then from then on, the world's our lobster or oyster, not lobster, different kind of animal, but you know what I mean? Stars are the same opinion, I think. Mm. <clears throat> I'm just checking something out about um a couple of people disputing um Saudi being able to enter the Champions League. Mm, I disagree. There's there's a few there's a few teams that aren't in Europe. I would argue that geographically, I would argue that Russia shouldn't be in Europe anyway. I understand that it kind of are. You've also got um, the Israeli teams can play in the Champions League, I, uh, but that's mainly because nobody wanted to play them in the eight. They, they, they didn't get on very well with people in the other areas, shall we say, as, as is quite well known. Um, so they've made exceptions before. Why, why not again? I'm trying to think of some other ones. If anybody can think of any, there you go. Here's a good quiz question for a few of you. Um, how many teams have played in the Champions League in recent years that aren't geographically in Europe? Yeah, there can't be that many. There's probably the likes of the Azerbaijan teams. What are they called? Um, is it Azerbaijan? Yeah, I think there's no one from there as well. It's fine. Tom will research it. We'll, we'll get it in a minute. He'll, know, he'll, he'll already have it up. Oh, there um, you go. Turkey as well. Technically, you get the Turkish teams, don't you? Al Petugas, please bring CR7 to, to Newcastle. No, thank you. Uh, Bournemouth owner just bought a stake in a team in New Zealand. So, yeah, it's uh, it's not just there. Gabriel Vega says uh, Don Data. I do have a little statement to make. We, we have got uh, some new merch, festive merch as well, uh, which we need to show you. You've already seen it, but I need to re read the message out. Uh, it's these uh, light, lighting bauble type things, lanterns, should we call them? I think that's what they're called, lanterns. Lanterns, I think, yeah. Um, and there's that, those white ones, and there's the same ones, but in black. And then there's so it's also us with Daisy. These. Yes, the Daisy. They're, 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 there's a Tony View car with Daisy and the three of us in. Uh, and there's also the star with the Tony View on. Uh, the little lanterns, we have, a, we have to have a minimum of 35 orders. So if you get your orders in, get yourself onto the uh, website. They're all on the website now, but we need 35 orders at least for the little lanterns. Uh, um, if we don't get the 35, then we refund we people who have ordered 
Uh, that's just for the lanterns. The rest of the Christmas stuff you can you can order as 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 you want, but we need a minimum of thirty five for these the beauties. I don't know if that's for both sets or or together or what, but just go and fantastic. check out the links. Susan's worked very very hard on them, so absolutely fantastic the TTR Christmas, tree. Christmas trees. Yeah, exactly. Christmas trees, festive TTR decorations. Go to our website, uh, which is two of you. I can't think what it is. What is the website? <laughs> Someone it's in the links below. It's in the links, yeah. Check, I'm sure one links. of the mods will drop it as well. Get yourself on there and look for the Christmas tree decorations and the lanterns. As I say, we need at least 35 for the lanterns uh, for that to work. Otherwise, you will be refunded for them. But apart from that, get yourself looking on those for those fantastic Christmas decorations, Christmas tree decorations. Brilliant. Um, Troll says Benzema is the one we need on loan. Would be really what we need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So we've got a few comments. We've got some of the Kazakh teams, Azerbaijani teams. Kazakhstan, that's right. Uh, what are they called? The, the you've got Maccabi Haifa's Israel. You've got um, Astana from Astana. From that's it. Astana. Just about to so th that. there's there's a lot of examples of teams that are outside of Europe that play in the Champions League. So what's the difference? Chelsea co owned Strasbourg as well, apparently. Um, so maybe they didn't vote. Maybe they did vote with it. I don't, uh, uh, with this on it. A Man United yeah, deal I, I not count, through. So I maybe count not eight them. or nine. I count eight or nine teams that I would expect to have voted against this. So the fact that it's only seven is interesting. Mike asked an interesting question. Why would a club let a £47 million asset leave on loan in January? Well, that's a sad close season for one. Uh, I mean, it's an interesting question. Why would they? However, I mean, I, if, they're same, they the same, if they own by the same people as what own us and they're kind of doing us a favour, that's the, who knows? I mean, Al Hilal at the moment in in the Saudi league are top by four points. They're unbeaten, eleven wins, two draws, zero losses, thirty-four goals scored with eight conceded. They're top of the league. They want to push for the title. They're being chased by Al Nasir, Ronaldo's team, um, and then Maxi's team in third. That you know, it, it's those three. Those are the big ones. And Al Ittihad's down in fifth and twenty-four points, so they're having a good go. And um, Stephen Gerrard, he's not. He's doing all right. You're on. 22 points, I guess. When is the season oh. finished? Uh, well, they've got 18 teams in the league and they've all played 13 matches. So I, I would imagine nowhere near yet. They've got a lot more games to play. Um, so fixtures going all the way through November, December, March, May. Oh, God. So yeah, they've got, they've got ages. Out. It's not a close season then, is it? So <laughs> I think Monday the 27th of May appears to be the final fixture that I can see on FOTMOB. Somebody would have to potentially correct me. Um yeah, Al Tawun against Al Etifak on the twenty seventh of, of May. So, mm. I was under the impression that the close season was coming in January. That's why they they were up to being loaned out, but clearly not. There's no kind of incentive for them to loan the lots of nevers out when the season's still going on. It's it's quite right. Mm. Which again True. goes back to the red herring thing. Uh, the Clon lad says uh, Luton got a ten point deduction for that agent issue before they did. Um, well, this could massively help us out in the top four race. However, very unlikely that it happens in the same season. No, it's not going to as, we're, as we're aware. No, exactly. They probably post-date to last year. Oh, yeah. Foxy <laughs> just said Saudi League's August to May. Same as ours, then, basically. Yeah, so there's, there's no real urge for them to kind of loan players out in the close season. Then, is that? Because it's the same as ours. Uh, did seven teams vote for loans to be banned? No, 13 did. They needed 14 for it to pass. Geordie lad. Benzema is with Al Had says, I like coffee. He is. So if Saudi buys all the main plates, that means end of contract with everybody can go anywhere at any time. Well, yeah, technically. Yes, basically, yeah. It does, yeah. Uh, Tom saying the unholy trinity, Liverpool, Arsenal, Spurs. Definitely them. Definitely. They're, they're the, the key behind it all. Uh, Jan says, Jan says, also, I did ask put us in elite teams. Well, well, that's another part of it, but it's not. It's a small, 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 small. Oh, it's Probably. good. Did, did anybody see the video today with uh, Sam Fender and Bruno together? That little clip. I've not seen it. Oh, you need to go. You need to see it. If anybody's not seen it, there was a clip floating around of um, of Bruno with Sam Fender, and Bruno was wearing all Adidas merch. So, it's gonna be very exciting when we get these new kits through. And but not even just kits. I'm hoping for the whole the whole nine yards, all the keeper kits and the fun jumpers mm. and the hats. It was so good. Like we're in for a massive treat. I hope they do like a full a full line of it. Of course they will. Amazing. They don't do anything by half, Adidas, and you'll be getting your stuff within 10 days as well, not 10 months. 
as we're having at the moment. James Matthews, uh, James Matthews photographer says, oh, you're a good stream, Billy Aristato. Hope we all enjoyed today. The hypocrisy and fume from pundits and others on social media was incredible. It was indeed. <coughs> excuse, excuse one. Yeah, they're all talking about the PIF um, owned clubs. Uh, Tom says, well, Arsenal will be crying for the next two weeks about today's results. Longer, I'd say. They're still crying about the result of the week, aren't they? They are, yeah. Ridiculous, ridiculous so. Another one for Vega. Uh, I like coffee, says Laporte. Yes. I'll be all up for Laporte. Uh, James says, I still can't believe how much of a shitstorm we cause. Ashworth dropped a decoy bomb and the burger will sit in the fan big time. It did, yeah. <laughs> it did. Uh, Tessa B says Neves and Mane would be good. I'm not sure about Mane. We've got an office for that side of position he feels, haven't we? With Gordon and, and Barnes and Willock Joe Linton potentially as well. I don't think Mane fits as much. Neves, definitely. Christ. But again, is there any kind of incentive for them to come? I don't know. Uh, in CR65 says, Dan Ashworth has played a blinder here. Perth, I don't think we should try and buy any Saudi players in, Jan. Just think as it would piss the 13 clubs off. That's the reason to do it, I think. <laughs> mm, potentially. I do see your point. I do see your point. Vincent says, Vega, yes. Always rated, rated, rated never, but I don't know if we need him that much now. Of course we do. With, with Tonali down. You know, any yeah. midfielder to replace the Tonali thing is a fantastic buy for us. Or low. I mean, we didn't we didn't bring Tonali in to be a bit part player. He, he was he was purchased to be a big part of this midfield going forward from this season, um, and he's not going to be available. So I, I appreciate that certain players have stepped up, and I think I think Miley Lewis Miley is going to get a lot more minutes this season than than he would have um, had this not have happened. But he, he will have to step up, and I'm I'm sure he'll handle it. However, I don't think he's ready to play in the six in Bruno's position. I think he'll be used sparingly and used in a maybe in an eight role, just with a bit of rotation. Um, and we could just do with another body. We really could because Willock can't really do that role. Um, he he can, he plays as an eight, but he's he's the more he plays, he's very much a wide. He's just turning into a wide forward. The more he plays, the more the more wide he's going. Um, he, he's, he's slowly migrated. He started in a double pivot with Sean Longstaff when only how first arrived, and now he's going further and further and further and further towards being a left winger. Like he's just creeping that way. Um, so Joe Linton, of course, can do the rotation. Bruno and Longstaff, and then that's it. You've got Miley as, as a youngster in rotation. Um, we just do with another body, ideally. We really could. I mean, who else? Who else is there? Is there? Am I missing anyone off? Anderson when he gets back, in theory, mm. um, depends when he's back. We could just do with another body for cover, especially with the amount of competitions we're in, and especially you know, an elite one like the ones with these kind of players are all elite, aren't they? Really, um, and Tanadi's an elite player. Mm. We will miss him, and six month loan suits us perfectly. But yeah, it depends on any... the fixtures. Imagine, it, 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 let's say we finish third. And we, we drop into the Europa League and then we've got more Europa League fixtures. Let's say we, we draw a few mm. easy teams. We, you know, we beat, I mean, we can beat good teams. It's fine. But let's say we beat Chelsea in the Carabao Cup and then we've got the FA Cup for the third round fixtures to play in mm. January as well. Like if we, if we keep winning some of these fixtures, which we are doing, there's going to be so many games to play. So we, we just need, I would say midfield, we could do with another body a hundred percent. I think that's, if, if we're going to do anything with this whole loan thing, a body in midfield is priority. Yes, I agree. And anything, anything else is a bonus. It really is. I, I couldn't agree more. Two games says a lot of players now want to leave Saudi. As number of fans has halved in the stadiums, as novelty has gone. Is that really the pulling point for going to Saudi? The the, the atmosphere. Mm, I don't no. think it is. You know, I think it's well. There was the, the what was it? Seven hundred people went to the Aliti Fat game. Was it? Is it them? Was it? Yeah, I think it's all about the Bugs Bunny. If I'm perfectly honest, nothing to do with atmosphere. Um, but otherwise, they stay here, wouldn't they? Uh, Niall says Jota was brilliant for Celtic. Yeah, that's that's that say he was, but Celtic, gosh, I could be brilliant for Celtic. Um, Jan says I can see two lone players from there coming in. I know I'm being a bit facetious about Celtic. <laughs> <laughs> you've you've had a bee in your bonnet about them today. I don't know why. <laughs> I've always got a bee in your bonnet about Celtic. Uh, Savage and Laporte for me says you're any granny. Mm, yeah, I mean, Sa M Milinkovic Savage would fill that role that Tonali's kind of left behind as, as well, wouldn't he? If, a terrific boy. 
loan. Keep saying bye. Marvel's all day for me, says Fishing with Jay. Another one. Fantastic. Uh, and Yano makes a good point. Don't forget, guys, the Saudi clubs have the chance to swallow those ranks during the January transfer window at the same time, which is fair. Um, who can we sell yeah, to maybe, maybe we could get someone out. Yeah, who could we, we get rid of? Someone Thank like, you for about 25 million. Eight, 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 80 million, I was thinking. Mm. <laughs> well, he's definitely not going to play now, is he, with the, with the fullback? No. Options no. with Kraft coming back fit, and Kraft has actually played. Mankio yeah. hasn't. I, I understand that he's injured at the moment, Mankio, but even so, we just don't need that many players in that position. Interesting comment coming up. Uh, it's from Faramir Isildur. Uh, unfortunately for Newcastle, the PIF will not agree to any loan deals because as much as we, as we believe Newcastle is their crown jewel, I think Saudi project is much bigger and is part of the 2030 vision. That is a very, very good point. Very good point. Indeed. It's difficult to argue with as well. Why, yeah, really why should they? Why with. would they loan to us? They've also got the World Cup bid coming, which I think they're the only club, uh, country going for it as well. So, yeah, this this 2030 vision for Saudi is a massive thing and it's obviously bigger than Newcastle United, although I think Newcastle United is part of that vision as well. So, you know, it's about spreading the bit of, across the whole slice of the bread, I guess. Mm. Potentially. I... We don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I mean it is it is for the whole 2030 vision. It's for the World Cup bid. It's it's for all of it. But yeah, it depends where. Possibly, I mean, it depends if they see it as as a good thing promotionally to have a player come to us and help. Um, yeah, maybe it, it's it's a very detailed topic. This is so much deeper than just football and transfers. This is about global politics and and World Cup bids and and and. It's enormous. It's it's so difficult to dissect. So we're we're trying to we're trying to make a decision as to whether we'll get a player on loan based on something so enormous as this. It's it's mental. It's absolutely bonkers. It's impossible for us to know. Um, and again, we go back to the whole. Maybe it's just a red herring from Dan Ashworth. Like it's it's impossible. The media are just running with with stories. They really are. Which is fine. They want clicks. They want money. But in the, the reality of it is, nobody's got a clue. Not at all. This is correct. We won't know until January, I guess. Tim C says, with some of the greedy six-slot City, Chelsea and Spurs getting potential points deductions, then we're looking good for bigger things. As Stato says, I think this is going to take a long time. Mm. Cities won't even hit the Premier League. They've got legal, the highest legal bodies in the in the world behind them and that's going to get pushed down the road for a long time. Chelsea, and Chelsea have they even been charged? I think that's a, a FIFA thing, isn't it? More than a, a Premier League one. And the Spurs one's only come out today and that's only kind of rumours, so yeah, it's going to take mm -hmm. an awful long time yet for any of that to come through. Uh, Pont Max says, PF might loan because their investment in Saudi Premier League is across four clubs, including third yard foreign signings. Newcastle United is PIF's most high-profile international investment facing injury crisis, Naliban and FFP. That's one of the motives mm -hmm. for them doing it, I guess. Um, David T says, Dan Ashworth, world chess champion. Mr Spoon says, what's the chance that the Saudi team is buying a completely new player? Into immediate loan to us, now that's a possibility, isn't it? Someone that doesn't even affect their squad. Yeah, I mean, I think there's rules against that. If in the reverse, if we, we I don't think we could do anything like that. But I don't think there's anything stopping them doing it. Um, there, there is the whole thing if you can't play for three clubs in the same season. But I don't know what the what the rules are for that. If that's if that's to do with um, is it play or register? Hmm. Somebody who knows the rules better better than I do will have to answer that question because then that still might not work. It depends yeah. on the rules. It depends who his original club was was for as well. Hmm, not sure. Jürgen Anderson says for me, Gabby, he looks the perfect fit. Hell of a player. Uh, Ian Skinner says, who's to say it was not the PS plan all along to get access to all the players who went to Saudi? Potentially, but then kind of decries their own league. And as we've mentioned earlier, this Saudi vision for 30, 2030. I don't think they're going to do that just to kind of benefit Newcastle, set up a whole league. Uh, of course, they're not all owned by PIF either. So we need the players, says Paul. Of course we do. We need at least two or three. And of course, we, we may sign one or two permanently anyway on top. So it's not just about the loans. If we're getting Europa, Mar uh, Mares would help. He's won the Champions League, of course. Uh, well, he'd, help, he'd just help at all because he's an elite winger. He's incredible. Change the subject. Thoughts on England's 1-1 draw last night? Uh, it wasn't great. 
<laughs> the referee was absolutely piss poor. <laughs> the referee was shocking. I mean, absolutely shocking. The penalty they got wasn't one. However, they should have had one before that, a blatant one, when Slaphead pushed that bloke over in the box. Uh, but it weren't a great game, was it? Terrible officiating. They were so scrappy and never got punished for it. They should have had four or five yellow cards that they didn't have. They kept kicking the ball away. The referee just was awful. He was so bad. Um, that being said, we were also terrible. Uh, without Bellingham, we look awful. Yeah. We need Bellingham in that team. Trent as soon as you the answer, is he? Let's be honest. Oh, he's fine, but you need you need more. You need more. You you can't have two or three in a team. There's got to be more than that. Um it just wasn't good enough. It was the wrong squad. It was the wrong shape. It was the wrong system. It was the wrong personnel. He he just doesn't know how to get the best out of this team. He doesn't know at all. Um, and Ukraine didn't get screwed, Jimmy. Like, they just didn't get through. It was nothing to do with, you know, it is what it is. They, they've, they've, they've been fortunate to get to some of these tournaments anyway. And they, they, they've they had the rub of the green with everything that's gone on in a lot of matches. So, but I can't say that. I'll get told off. Um, but yeah, our, our game... Southgate's just so so beyond it now. He really is. He he was brilliant from sort of twenty when it went in, sort of twenty eighteen, maybe up to twenty twenty. And now he's taken this this team as far as you can go tactically. He's hit his ceiling. I'm appreciative of everything he's done in the past. Um, he helped transition the team. You know the whole media thing that was around them. He, he managed to get some of the older players out and and rejuvenate and change the perception around around the England national team. And it was all important. But he's he's done. That's it. He he was done two years ago. Um, this this squad on paper, we need to win. We need to win an international trophy. We've got Bellingham. We, we, so Kane is one of the highest scorers in Europe right now. He was absolutely ripping it up at the Bundesliga, reju rejuvenated at Bayern Munich. Bellingham is one of the best players in the world. Is, is a ten. Stones has just won the Champions League with Man City, playing out of his skin as a centre half. Declan Rice is is incredibly. He's a very 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 good player. Um, the list goes on. Like. We have to win a trophy with this with this team. We absolutely have to, um, and it's just not good enough. So he needs to go. He needs to go before the tournament, not after. But it that's won't happen. Gonna, that's not going to happen, though, is it? Of course, it isn't. I think Phil Foden had a fair game, though. I've got to be honest. I think Phil Foden may have pushed himself into the. Well, he deserves it. He's incredible. But the problem is, is you need more than just him. He can't do it. Where do you own. play him then? Where do you play him? This is the they sat in me. such a deep block. He, he plays wide left. Yeah. Yeah. He plays wide left every single day of the week. I'm sorry, but anybody who you can disagree I with, agree. that's fine. But no, it's got to be it's got to be Kane up top, and then behind them has to be Foden, Bellingham, Saka. Anybody yeah. who picks a different team, I disagree with. Because no, I agree, I agree with that like, totally. Grealish and Rashford are fine as as extra options if somebody gets injured or as substitutions. But I feel like that's the strongest sort of attacking. I Rashford unit. was absolutely diabolical when he came on last night. He was. I mean, and they then, were awful, but he was like wor worse than all of them. The only question is, who do you sit next to Declan Rice? And that's the problem because he's going to sit someone bad next to him. It probably in the current system should be James or Prowse, who's not even in the squad. No. Um, and then you know the, the playing a four-two-three-one allows you to get Madison in for Bellingham um, if there's any issues or substitutions. Like it, it's so versatile, and then Madison can go wide left, wide right. We've got the personnel to win an international trophy. It just it just won't happen. I agree. I agree. I couldn't agree more. Anyway, that's the international stuff done. Uh, Yano says, we signed players when an agreement sent them on loan. No reason why our owners cannot purchase players for the Saudi League with an agreement for them to set spend time on loan at June 1st. Yes, that's, that's a good point too. Um, yeah, that is a good point. What I haven't considered before, actually. Uh, we that's have a five true. pound super chat from Yan. Uh, January is the time for Newcastle to shaft the top team moaners big time from week one. Yeah, we do want to hit the ground winning, don't we? Thanks for that, the Jan, for the £5 super chat. Very much appreciated. Uh, but we do want to get signings in sooner rather than later in this, in this transfer window, don't we? Um, I still injuries. think it's a little bit early, you know. Like, we, I know it's the hot topic because of the vote. I mean, what, what's the date today? The 21st of November? Yeah. We've got a lot of games between now and the transfer window. We have, yeah. We've got so many games. Um, it's going to be a long old road until, until we get back there. Hopefully, the squad isn't going to look as bad at the end of December as it does now. I'm not, I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to continue that statement, but <laughs> it's pretty bad at the moment. So I, I'm hoping it's going to look a little bit better. Um, but we we just need to nurse the players through. I mean, how many? 
Let me have a look. If you continue, I'll have a look. How many fixtures have we actually got till the window opens? Quite a few. Yeah, December's two games a week. All, all well, of it. I don't think there's any more international break. So this no. is it now. It's going to be a long slog all the way up till the window opens. Now we've just got to go for it. I think it's at least eight in, in December, maybe nine. And then you've got two two more oh, in November. God. You're looking at 11 games at least. At least. Uh, Football Matters says, PAF, please buy Salah and loan him to us. I don't think Salah would, would play for the club in England, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, the Gaza Hendrick could get 50 million for him, says Mark Keeper. 50 million what? <laughs> we, so we have we have 10 games between 10, yeah. now and the transfer window. And we actually play on January the 1st because it's Monday night football and we've got Liverpool at Anfield at 8 o'clock. <sighs> So our, our run of fixtures between now and the transfer window opening, we've got Chelsea, PSG, Man United, Everton, Tottenham, Milan, Fulham, and oh, I think I've skipped two. Pages. Well, we've got Chelsea twice, haven't we? We've got them in the Carabao as well. Uh, Ch yeah, Chelsea again, Luton, Forest. I mean, Christ Christmas is going to be interesting. We've got bloody hell, that's that's three games in seven days. So we've got Chelsea away on. The uh, December the 19th and then two days before Christmas we've got Luton away and then Boxing Day we've got Forest at home so, so it's yeah. the Chelsea away game is that the Carabao Cup December the 19th uh, I, uh, yes it is so the league game against them is, is the 25th of November this is the, the one coming up yep. and then the Carabao Cup game is the one away uh, on the 19th of December so yeah it's a Carabao Cup game followed by two um, two Premier League games, and then e even though we finish on the 26th of December, we've still got another game on the first on the Monday, yeah. so we get six days with Christmas and a new a new year essentially. Um, it is relentless, but it does it does start to get a little bit more favourable for us as we push into February. You know, we get Luton, Forest, and Bournemouth on the bounce. Um, so you know, it happens like that. We did we did have a real tough start, so I think we've got a better cluster of games sort of mid season. Uh, Robert Molson says, can we loan sand from Saudi for Tynemouth Beach? <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Barry says, if we can get a right winger in January, he will take over the spot of Miggy. Our attack will be ridiculous. I think Miggy's effective in some games and he's found out in others need quality on the right. Stato? Yeah, but in the games we needed something different. Murphy's been delivering. So... You know, it's true. However, Murphy's obviously now injured. Um, despite Miggy still being competent, he, you know, he's limited and effect he's effective against certain opposition and against certain systems. And then he can become a little bit more ineffective in certain situations. And it, yeah, it's useful to have an alternative. We just don't have that right now. So yeah, maybe. But I still think again, the priority if there's going to be any loans has to be a midfielder. Has to be. They have the World Cup Australia pulled out. Yeah, the 2034 World Cup. Yeah, indeedy. Um, Chelsea shouldn't take long as they self-reported. Oh, that's true. They did do, yeah. They did. But that's a strange situation now. I mean, they've kind of grasped on the previous owners, aren't they? <laughs> and not to mention that he spent a, virtually a billion pounds in just over 12 months. I mean, self-reported. It's obvious what they've been doing, which is... I'm sorry. I, I have the, the funniest comment ever. Put up, bring back Loic Remy until the end of the season to play alongside Ben Parkinson with Gordon playing. No, that is it, would be really interesting, but absolutely no way. How old's Loic how, how old's Loic Remy these days? He's got to be 40. Still playing, uh, Remy Loic Santos Remy. says, uh, get all our sponsorship deals done in the next two months. Yes, I think that's a uh, that's a very, very massive potential for that to happen. I've got to be honest, mm, I think he's retired. Well, he's not with a club at the moment. So he last time he had a team was 21 22 season was Adana Demispor in Turkey. God, he, he went on a journey after us, didn't he? Bloody hell. He went, um, so it was QPR, then us, then back to QPR. Chelsea, Chelsea, Palace, Las Palmas, Getafe, Lille, Rizaspor, and Adana Demispor. He had a lot of clubs. Shame about him. He should have stayed with us, shouldn't he? Well, he had three league titles in his time. He won um, two yeah, for Leon when he was very young. Um, good player, nineteen or twenty player. years old. And then he he technically he got a league title with Chelsea as well. 
Seven goals from six starts. Chris Wood's turning out against the Republic of Ireland. He should, he should score goals against them, to be fair. John Volner says Newcastle could be in the mood with Ashley deals. Which deals were these? They didn't make any. <laughs> mm. All he did was cherry pick, didn't he? I mean, I don't think uh, we'll be in any trouble with what he did. Um, I mean, I wonder if we'll do any future proofing in January. Potentially. Well, we 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 can't do we can't do all of our business in the summer. It's going to have to be window by window by window. Yeah, and yeah. we've got a lot of contracts out. Like we've we've still got a lot of things to resolve. Like Fraser, I think Fraser's still got another year post when he comes back from Southampton. I, I think he's still twenty twenty five. So we've got to sort out Fraser. We've still got to sort out Hayden, who's still got a contract. We've still yeah. got to sort out Lewis. Um, uh, Jamal Lewis. I can't remember his name. Jamal Lewis. Look at Lewis Murphy. That's not a player. <laughs> Mixed names together there. Um, we've still got to sort out Jamal Lewis, who's still going to be in a contract when he comes back. Um, we've we've got a lot of players that are still contracted till 2025, 2026. Um, we're still going to have to do something with them. And we've got Richie and Dummett, and we're going to have to make a decision on them again. Are we going to extend? And the cells. And the cells. Well, I think arguably he's the only one that really should. I think mm. Richie, you know, we, we spoke to, to Keith Downey about this when he came on. I, I thought it was about time for Richie to start taking his coaching badges and start helping. And, and Keith seems to think that he's going to keep playing and might drop down. I, I don't know. I, I get massive coach vibes from Matt Ritchie. I think he's in and around that team. Um, it, it's just a feeling. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but I feel like Richie could stay in the coaching setup unless he really wants to go and keep playing. Um, fine. Fair enough. But I, I mean, I the, think maybe... the word was always he wanted to return to his kind of hometown team down in the south coast, wasn't it? Southampton, was it? Yeah, or Portsmouth, one of those two. I would have enjoyed him being part of this senior setup, though, because um, he's, you know. Um, I but I feel like potentially Richie offer him a some, <clears throat> some sort of funny contract to do with the scout with the, with the sorry coaching setup, and then Lascelles deserves an extension, and I feel like everyone else has got to go. Um, Mankio, Mankio, Hayden. Jamal Lewis, there's there's so many. And Ryan Fraser's still con contracted. Dubravka, what are we going to do with Dubravka? Is he, mm. you know, so many players that we need to sort out. Jimmy makes a good point here. Newcastle makes money while Saudi teams aren't financially stable. I think they would want the, their Premier League club in the Champions League, which kind of goes against True. the Saudi 2030 vision. But at the same time, it doesn't, does it? Because it promotes it as well at the same time. It's a, mm. it's prioritising. It's what they prioritise, I guess, isn't it? Um, I guess they think they can do both. All right. Well, let me let me see if Paul's got the the results of the poll. Yeah, so look at this poll, poll if you're we, watching, give us the poll before we sign off. Let's have a look at these poll results. Ivani Granny says we have a lot of contracts coming up in summer. We just mentioned that. Yeah. Uh, Judy says they drew. Slaphead was his usual stuff. He was. He was desperate. Um, right. Well, I think what we're going to do, guys, as well, while we've still got so many people here, is we'll do. Um, we'll probably do another show on some of the best picks from Saudi in terms of for a loan. Um, we might even pop a maybe a cheeky little Patreon podcast up as well. So if you if you're not uh, if you're not already a member of that, go and check it out. There will be some links for it. But we'll definitely continue this with a with a fun transfer show. We'll have to get Paul involved. Well, Seacrest Boxers has a little, according to the time. This is the seven clubs that blocked a ban. Uh, when Newcastle United, Sheffield United, of course, forgot about them because they're mm. Saudi owned, aren't they? Yeah. Man City, Chelsea, Everton. I wonder what, what <laughs> Everton, Wolves, and Nottingham Forest. Well, Everton because of the whole seven 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 group, right? Because of the new, I guess, new venture. Wolves, Wolves I guess, Portugal uh, and Nottingham Forest, Olympiacos. So interesting. So not Man United then, and not who did we say? Bournemouth, not Chelsea, Bournemouth, Chelsea. Are there, Bright, yeah, Chelsea Brighton. Are there, yeah. No, Chelsea, Chelsea are there. Yeah, Brighton, Bournemouth. There's a few I'm surprised at. They are. Mm. If, that's, if that is indeed is, is correct. Uh, yeah, we need the poll results. So, any any news on the poll? I can have a look on YouTube, I guess. Let's have a look. Quick look on YouTube. We might get a bit of sound from this. Oh, but... there you go. He sent he sent them. Sorry, sorry, boy. He sent them ages ago. I do apologise. So, the results of the poll. So, seventy four percent of people would like to sign up to the four players on loan from Saudi, and twenty six percent of people would rather sign none. So, mm, interesting, interesting. That is interesting. So three quarters of people want us to go and sign a load of fun players on loan. I mean, I, I don't blame you, to be fair. It would be funny. It would be. It'd be hilarious. Um, and I like off. We'll end on this one. Sunderland Island Premier League, but they would still vote against Newcastle. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so we, we've come to the end of our time. Good an hour. Spoke about the news. Basically, all, been that, all about the votes. 
don't think we spent enough time talking about the sponsorship deal, which is to me the big, the biggest kind of advantage mm. we will come our way today. Um, but we will well, be back tomorrow shows, in the match obviously. preview, so we can talk about that with Paul tomorrow. That's, so make sure you Thursday, come back tomorrow. Thursday. That's Thursday. What day is it today? Tuesday. I'm getting my days mixed up. Right, Thursday match preview, guys. Thursday. And I like coffee says uh, over a thousand watching and four hundred likes. If you're enjoying the show, don't forget to hit the like button. It takes a second. Just hit that thumbs up button. Seriously. There you go. Let's get it up to at least 500. There should be at least 500 likes. It takes you all a second to do it. No, no kind of excuse for not doing it, really, if you're watching us. Anyway, we, I'm not sure what we're doing tomorrow, but if we are back tomorrow, we, you will be notified if you've got your notification bell clicked on. Uh, but if not, we should be definitely here Thursday for the Chelsea preview and face the last Friday and watch along Saturday. So lots of stuff coming up on the team review for you to enjoy. Um, but until t- potentially tomorrow, uh, keep an eye out for the live videos Paul does as well during the day. Uh, still potentially tomorrow, but definitely Thursday. Uh, wish you all a very good night. Do my line, Stato. Away, the lads and lasses. Uh, and that's just done. See you next time. Come back.